amemalizia mahali akasema eh, taking your responsibility hapo ndio alimalizia na hapo ninaanzia taking and then i never take your responsibility yeah lazima ufanye majukumu yako mambo yote ambayo mtumishi wa Mungu amesumbuka katika ukombozi katika nguvu za ufufuo wa Yesu na akamalia akisema ya kwamba haya mambo yote yatakuja kutimia ni wapo wewe kama Mkristo umechukua majukumu na unafanya kulingana na maandiko tosha ambazo we feel as Christians and I got help to be a teacher nifunze kidogo na tuabarikiwa kwa sababu hiyo mmebarikiwa mkapa tuombe pamoja si ndivyo tuombe pamoja ataweza kubarikiwa kwa hivyo hapo ndio nataka nianzie Soma katika kitabu cha Timotheo wa pili mlango wa 4 mstari wa 7 na 8 ile natutosha for today. Yeah, that is enough. Ndishika kama kuna mtu wa Bible ya Kiswahili. Biblia ya Kiswahili. Watu wengi watu wengi wako na kinga wameokoka hapa sana. Lakini lugha ya nyumbani pia ni nzuri. Kiswahili. Kuna Kiswahili, kuna Kiswahili asome. Kuna mtu wa Bible ya Kiswahili. Ah soma soma hicho ni kama mahali umepata. Demteo wa pili, mlango wa 4 mstari wa 7 na 8. Okay. Hapo ndio ni wao wazungu, ekibukusu. Biblia inasema hivi katika maandiko, I, uh, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge will give to me on that day and not only to me but also to all who have loved his appearance amen yeah kulinda nini imani kuna mambo matatu tunazungumzia na inaongea kwa upole yani anakaba mulungu spoil boy wala kama msikii Uh, short wave sema tu amen na tunaenda mbele <laughs> haleluya yeah kuna mambo matatu number one, i'm talking about i have fought a good fight nimepigana vita vizuri vita tamu vita vizuri number two, i have finished the race nimemaliza mwendo Number three, I have kept the faith. Yani, nimeilinda imani. Yo ni mama tatu peke yake na sungumuzia leo pole pole. Sita kwa na maomengi, naomba mungu roo mungu kuja pole pole. Kuja kwa utalatibu, isn't it? Ya, na hili neno likingenda ni mwako utapono. Ano ma tell you for the church. The moment you listen the word, you will heal you that the power ile mhubiri alisema hii neno iko na power the bible says paulo alisema neno hayo kuna usemi wa mtume paulo paulo anasungumza akimalizia waraka wake wa mwisho katika ulimwengu huu after doing all the necessary after taking the responsibility as a christian amefika mwisho wala hapa unasoma historia biblia nasema kwamba baada ya kuandika waraka huu aliandika wakati wameweka the rock wameweka mti na wameweka shoka tayari kukata shingo yake ndio alikuwa anaandika hivi eh ndio inakuwa ngumu bwana asifiwe so usimuzungumzi ujumbe ambao uko na mchezo mchezo na sasa ujumbe mbaya walikuwa wameweka rock rock ni ile mti wa meka wale wazee walikuwa na chinja ngombe miaka ile zamani kuna mti mkubwa anakata wanaweka hapo na shoka. Na kwa hivyo akawa amepiga magoti. Anaandika ujumbe wake wa mwisho inaitwa goodbye message ama farewell message. Ni good goodbye message. Wakati shoka imenolewa vizuri inamngoja. Kwa hivyo akaandika ujumbe huu akijua kwamba ni wa mwisho kuandika. Ni waraka wake na kaandikia mtumishi wa Mungu anaitwa Timotheo na watu walioamini wala ambao walikuwa chini ya Timotheo akiwa power akiwa Timotheo wake bila kumwandaa 
na akaandika utume huu akiwa na uchungu mwingi katika moyo wake so this is the message ambayo ilikuwa na uzito mkubwa sana karibu ni wana furahia na huwa na shangaa pia watu wana wanapenda kusema tu oh nimepigana vita mpaka hata matango enda kwa matango yote one papa basta nu matango kuna anaandika hapo hadi nimevamini nimepigana vita ya imani nimemaliza una umekufa kwa mwanzo wangu that's the one question to my mind to many people finish the race or they have died na unajua leo mtamaa alikuwa mwelevi alikuwa mwisi alikuwa kusharati alikuwa kaidi lakini anaandika hapo i have fought a good fight i have finished the race i have kept the faith mimi maswali na kwanza ni imani gani walikuwa kaidi sometimes na kosoanga matanga all about hapa ni pastor James Yakufi alisema sisi tunalala ambia jirani yako sisi tutalala lakini ndio mwenye dhambi na ukifanya dhambi sema utakufa. Hiyo pia kesho huru au because hiyo wote wa sababu ana mwana wa ta. Haleluya. Eh, wasema tuko tu bere kategorico. Ya? Si si wote wanaenda kanisa wanaenda mbinguni. Ya? Na si wote wako hapa watamaliza safari. Na si wote wanapigana vita. Sababu wale vita ikipatikana chaji kuna toroka kwa sababu kupigana vita the imani ni kukasi ngumu and this is the message i'm talking the church yeah sasa hata tulikuja hapo ilikuwa wengi lakini video na naenda kwa embo isn't it hii ni yakesha tu waje hakuna mangumi hapa hakuna eh, mangumi hapa lakini usiingize peke yako you can if you cannot defeat your blanket my friend you cannot defeat the enemy kama utawahi kushika blanket yako kushinda shetani ngumu ambie jirani yako hivyo leo tunahubiri wote ubiria mungu ambie hivyo kama utawahi shinda blanket yako ni ngumu kumshinda shetani ya ndio ni vitu ya kwanza waje kwanza na hiyo vitu ya kwanza kwanza ile ya wala mbona mkoa hapo paka dogo mshinda shetani mshinda shetani tumesha shinda blanket sisi ya so sipikia magoma na mshinda shetani wewe ndio ni vita. Ya. Yeah. Jambo la pili, kama vita ya ya wareti yako. Au jawai kushinda vita ya wareti. Yaani wale wa mama tunaka pasi. Esibeti, isn't it? Kama unawahi kushinda vita ya esibeti yako. Utabarikiwa. Ndio leo nimekuja ya <laughs> wale wako na imani wanajua maana sungumzia isn't it yani nataka nifafanue vita kana hapana sungumzia usiku wala mchana asubuhi ya leo ya kwamba paulo paulo akasema ndio hata kama nimefika mwisho hata kama shoka iko hapo hata kama maisha yangu yatakwenda lakini wacha niandike yale mambo ambayo yametendeka the experience i have in the kingdom number one, i have fought a good fight of faith yeah i'm happy because of that Ninapigana vita ya imani na shukuru and I'm happy. Namba 2 nimeandika niwaelezee hata kama nimeenda mimi mwendo nimeumaliza. I've done my best. I've wrote the letters. I've baptized the people. I have told them the truth. I've propagated the faith. And I will disciple many people. I will build a church. Father, we will be so we will be we will be Maliza. Eh, hata mungu hata hata mungu kitabu ni jinda abridge. Kuna watu wao sema hivi. Hata kuna kuna watu wao wanasema kwamba alikuwa na hapo na jokorea kwa dia 
yako yao hizi. Ya. Unajua kuna watu katikati yetu damu ya Yesu haiko sasa hivyo. Ama mtu wangu yuko. Wachungaji mnisaidie tuubiri. Eh, kuna watu katikati yetu damu ya Yesu haidaoko. Maana baada ya Arabu ja watabaki watawakola tu kwa damu yao. Eh, na wambia tu kweli. Naja hiyo ndio injili siku tunafundisha, sifundishi ya kupembelela watu na kuacha kuja moyo. Ah ah. Ah, hiyo ilitoka. Bwana asifiwe. Ya, Biblia inasema ya kwamba baada ya unyakusi watu wako mbinguni wanakula <coughs> ile saba de mali ni saba ubela. Watakuwa na celebrate, lakini wale watakuwa wamebaki hapa. Maandiko yanasema wataokolewa kwa damu yao. Eh, asifu unjue hivyo. Ndio ujipange mapema kama utakolea kwa damu ya Yesu ama utakolea kwa damu yako ujipange kuanzia leo. Ndio tumepembeleza miaka mingi sana mpaka leo nimeogopa nenda binguni. Ah ah. Ah ah. Yo. Yo mimi naambia kama church hakuna mtu amekuja hapo kwenda binguni. Aha. Kashangaa hizo. Hakuna mtu ameogopa kwenda binguni. Tumewaokoka tufanye kazi tumbojo atakuja kuchukua. Eh. Na ukitaka kuogopa ile binguni kule ni kuombea waogope na ukufe saa hii uende tuone. Ambao kwa hiyo hapo nakaa kwa ati mimi kule nimeokoka na ngoja kwenda binguni au andike na nika uwe. Maana maandiko yamea kwamba mimi naacha upesi na ujira wangu huko mkononi mwangu. Kumulipa kila mtu kulingana na kazi ameifanya. Na wewe la wale ndani ni mtu. Alipona pasta za ajira. Ah, bwana. Eh, leo leo papa uta niruhusu nitembee hivyo kwa hiyo neema. Eh, hey, hiyo ndio neema Mungu amenipa leo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh. Hey. Pone sente muka ni saa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh? Watu lazima wajue. Paulo akiandika hii ujumbe alikuwa anasikia ujumbe huku maana anafanya kazi nzuri, anahubiri injili, anafufua wafu, anafanya ni uchizo, anaona maajabu ya Mungu. Lakini shoka ilikuwa imemkocha. Ya, hii hapa kule tumefanya ndio kama tanga ati ati shimu hii mbanya alafu kaburi hii tayari kulipuke unje na anga yanga mambo mengine ndio Mungu atusaidie sana amen na bali kwa sababu ya kwamba sisi tuko na nguvu na tumeshapita na utili tuko zima mimi sikufu bila pastor ile pastor ana baba misikufu kama au wewe sikufu tu kwa kaji na wewe ni baba yangu na bila kama amesema kama uko mbele unangangana hata si nyumba kabuga kama unangangana tukangane ukipigana kila watu hata tutapigana nilikuwa mahali kwa harusi kuna MC akasema hii maneno akasema ikiona mvulana na msichana wamekaa pamoja wanacheka najua kwa nini wanacheka hizi ni eh wala mkaka wale maharusi wakifurahia How are you laughing at it today? The other one, you know why they are laughing, isn't it? Yes. But when we talk, we will make a miyaka karibu kumi na tano shirini kwenye chuo. Lazima mwa ulio na sulai kwa nini wana penda, isn't it? Yeah. Una shanga. Wala mwa kuwa na kuna chuo kwa nini wana pako na fraia. Mechi hapo mwa muna chuo na si kama kusuli mukitesa. Mana muna chuo kwa nini watu wa wilo mepata na wakwen. Lakini nashawahi kuona wale wanasema wamekaa miaka 70, miaka 30, miaka 20 kwa ndoa wako wako celebrate. 
Na wakicheka wakifurahia, waje ni kuambia juhudi zangu mazuri. How? How? Or why? Or because of what? Or because of why? Bana zidiwe. Anya ni watu wamelinda nini? Au wengine wanafurahia maana bado bado imani haitanga kujungwa. Eh, hey, bado simu haitanga kuulizwa message imetoka wapi? Ndio wanacheka wanafurahia. Ndio majozo na janga na kwanza ya uoga. Majozo mbi. Na kuna mganga hivi alapo kupanguza pole pole wasiharibu uso. Bana zidiwe. Hadi wajua ulisikia ujungu ukienda ah ah tunajua. Bana zidiwe. Eh najua leo mta. Bado nimeokoka. Ndio kila leo hasa bado ameokoka. Eh mimi nataka kuhubiri maisha ya saa hii. Eh. Lakini wako wazee wanakaanga hapo mama na baba wanaangalia huyu mtoto ni kwenda anaenda. Anajua kweli hii miaka 30 ni siku likaa anajua kweli. Wanashangaa baada wao wacheki. Waenda tu kwa harusi angalia baba na mama wenye unapenda msichana na baba na mama wanapokea msichana kama wao wanacheki. Hmm? Hajeki. Mimi nimefanya ex nimefanya lot of research. Na hata pastor harusi ikikuja ikiwa hapo ndio nimekuja hapo si I don't need you to invite me. But mimi wanakuja na harusi kwa watu kwa kiza sasa inaangalia anga baba ametoa wapi baba msichana ndio na ndio naangalia okay. Na wapi mambo pato pale the start the end. Alafu naangalia baba mwenye anapokea nasema I wish mimi shangia atakuja kwangu. Yaani anaona maisha baba mkwe ama baba mkimwanga anampindishia anaona hivi hata bibi hiyo mtoto mzuri hivi. Eh hey, wanashanga. Maana kulinda imani ni kazi. Na hiyo ndio kitu watu wanataka kuchunguza na leo nasungumza hapo. Paulo akasema ya kwamba vita vizuri nimepigana. Mwendo nimeumaliza na imani nimeilinda kaje uzima. Ya, wapendwa hata tukifanya mambo gani, hata kama tutahubiri, hata kama tutatoa mapepo, hata kama tutapatiza watu, hata kama watu wataokoka, lazima tulinde imani. Bwana asifi. Hata kama watakuwa watu wetu wazuri, lazima tulinde imani. Hata kama tafanya maarufu ya asubuhi na mchana, lazima tulinde imani. Na Paulo akiandika mambo haya matatu ukisoma vizuri wao ambao wanaelewa Biblia wamesoma Biblia. Anasema kwamba alipomaliza maandiko anasema ya kwamba wakamwambia tena kusema maisha kuja. Isume maliza unaandika umeweka vuli stop kama nimeweka basi kujeni mzee. Unajua na jambo mnangoja tuita hapo watu wakuja watu waombe wabarikiwe. Sisi watu waombe watu kubarikiwa. Nitakuambia kuombe watu wakulipa kulini. Hata kama ni mgonjwa wetu watu. Uponi wana sipiwe. Yeah. Ya, ambie shetani, hujui pesa ya mshetani ni mwa vyombo vya chati. Sikujui. Eh, hey, mshaka hapo. Haleluya. Eh, hey, wewe namwambia, anything can happen. Naambia devil, pesa yenye nikikupatia, nilipeleka chaji, enda uliza kule chakula ya mama, nimeoa, alafu nianze kula ya hospitali. Naambia shetani hujinga sana. Hii vita nasema niko tayari. Tunamenyana. Na hiyo ni imani. Naambia mtu imani. Sio napiga tu tisia tisia huko kwa daktari. Ah ah. Ukipiga tisia tisia leta sadaka. Kristo maneno. Haleluya. Eh. Hey. Ukisikia tu kwa mtu anaambia, "Oh, hii pesa ni ya charge." Kuna watu na umwanga tu kwa leo umekula kwa sadaka umekula mbegu. I'm telling you. Wajungaji wanaumia. Wacha mimi niongee kwa jambo la wajungaji. Maombi mengine wajungaji naomba tuna sweat. Unapona na sisi tunakonda. Mimi hiyo maombi ni kazi. Hiyo ndio maombi ya Kristo Swiss. Hiyo hata haifanyi kazi. Nilikuwa mahali kwa seminar. Hati kwa nini sisi hatuna power charge? Ah ah. Charge iko kwa maana tuna power day. Si ni kweli. Hii si masiko charge. Wewe kitu weka tu on na wapi? Hizo ni. Yeah, okay power hapa iendangi. Wewe tu ndio unaendanga nyumbani. Lakini power hapa iko. Tembea katika ufunguo. Tembea kulinda imani imani lazima ichukwe vizuri 
Na Paulo akasema na kama moyo wake unaenda mwisho wa maisha ulimwenguni akaweza kusema ya kwamba vita nimepigana vizuri sitapiga hivyo vibaya vita nimepigana mwendo nimeumaliza na imani nimeirinda pasipo imani hawezi kutolea Mungu pasipo imani huwezi imba au akiimba hivi ni imani ama na wadangaji mnaimba kwa sababu kuna pesa ni imani Waimbaji imani. Ukitaka kuwa mhubiri kuwa na imani. Imani kana sema ya kwamba na ukikuwa chakula na ukuli kwa imani unafanya dhambi. Si ni kweli. Hata kwa sababu tumefanya dhambi nyingi sana. Tunakula tu. Tunakula bila imani hadi tunakula dhambi yangu. Kama hapo na kwamba hapa jasho na mko kwa hapa imani unaongea. katika ulimwengu ambao tunaishi vitu vitatu kama hutafanya vizuri tutashindwa kwenda mbinguni maana Yesu yuaja Jesus is coming na si kudanganya ndanganyo Yesu yuaja wale problem akasema hivi je mwana wa damu akicha atapata imani yake hapo ndio kipindi soma biblia hapo sema mwana wa damu akikuja je atapata washirika kanisani ah hmm? fa final mwisho There is laid up for me the crown of righteousness. Kuna taji ya haki ambayo imeandaliwa. Taji ya utendakazi. Taji ya uzima. Judas kadoti wa Petro alikusaidia wewe wewe ungeweza. Wewe hauko msaliti Yesu. Ungetoroka. Lakini huyu jamaa alijitolea muhanga. <laughs> Akasema waje niogwe ulimwengu. Ipitishe malengo ya Mungu. Haleluya. Eh hey, na akasema watanicheka watanitusi lakini makusudi ya Mungu lazima atimike. Na akajitolea kama uko tayari kupigana vita we are the soldiers of the cross. Si ndio si ndio maaskari wa msalaba. Maandika Paulo akamwambia kwamba njia ya msalaba kwa ngoni ni wako na potea ni ukuzi na ni ukumbavu. Lakini sisi ambao tunaokolewa ni nguvu za Mungu. Sasa ni maaskari wa msalaba dada yangu amesema ya kwamba msalaba huu lazima tuulinde lazima tuubebe lazima tuchunge tuchunge imani yetu maana maneno ya kwamba pale msalabani huyo ndio mazilishi na mkamilishi wa imani yetu i'm talking about the faith kulinda imani imani inachungwa imani inalindwa na lazima tuamuke lazima tujitahidi lazima tutolee muhanga kulinda imani lazima tutolee kumaina safari lazima tutolee kuchunga imani hii lazima ili by fire by force by everything lazima jitolee hata kama ni kusoma tusome tulinde imani nzuri unajua vizuri haupikani vita ya imani na unajua vizuri haujamaliza mwendo ukijiangalia vizuri unaona kwamba mwenda utaumaliza na kuna mambo ya kusumbua nataka kumwambia Mungu leo kwa sababu kuna nguvu za ufufio there's the power of resurrection baba naomba nguvu hizi usiku wa leo sipite sianze kunifufua sianze kunibadilisha nguvu hizi za ufufuo maana Yesu alifufuliwa ni mtu mikono yako na hii maombi yako this is your personal prayer haya ni maombi yako hizi maombi ya mchungaji haya ni maombi yako wewe mwenyewe nataka ni maombi ya roho ya wote kwa imani mwambie kwa imani yako Bwana umeniita na kwa sababu ya imani ambayo niko nayo Bwana nisaidie usiku wa leo nilinde imani yangu Bwana nisaidie usiku wa leo nikaweze kumaliza mwendo Bwana ukanisaidie usiku wa leo nikapigane vita vizuri Bwana nisaidie ili watu wiko na Bwana supray hii ni wakati wa maombi nataka kila mtu aombe nataka uombe maombi kujua kwamba anything can happen rapture can happen any minute any time yeah sometimes unajua watu naomba 
wakati mwingine tunaomba kana kwamba hatutakufa kesho ni kana kwamba hatutaenda mbinguni tunaomba kana kwamba tuko hapa forever tunaomba kana kwamba utaiba forever ama utaita kana nani forever hapana nataka uombe maombi ya kwamba everything can happen perhaps that can come and you need to go to heaven tell god bana nimeinua mikono yangu mbele zako nimeinua mikono yangu nataka tuwe tu ina mikono yake ishara hii ya kuchachilia unapoinua mikono achachilia mbele za bwana unamwambia bwana nimechachilia ya kwamba jehova nikapitane vita vita nzuri bwana ukanisaidia nikaumanisha mwendo bwana ukanisaidia nikaenda imani maana imani ya watu wengi inaitajaribiwa imani ya watu wengi inapokufa imani ya watu wengi inapoyumba yumba baba nisaidie katika kizazi hiki ya kwamba imani niliyo nayo bwana itachukua vizuri watu mishi bwana baraka jia maisha yangu wataida imani yao itakuwa macho maandika kama kwamba kesheni mkiomba na mkisali maana mujishi we thank you to we give glory to your name I want to thank you because of every minister that you allowed to be here tonight. Father, you brought them here with a purpose that we may gather together and we may call upon your name the way we have called upon you. That we may hear you speak to us, to rebuke us and to strengthen our ways. That God, we may be reminded of the life that we are living. That we may live a better life with you and thereafter we will look back and we will see what you have done and we will be able even to stand and tell other people that this faith will have taken care of it that law will have taken care of the faith that you put us in that God where whatever we have done it is by you it is by your power and it is not by our own power Father, I thank you, I glorify you, I honor your name. May your name be honored even as we go out. May your name be honored even as your servant wants that to the people. May your name be honored even as they go beyond the borders. They are not just ministering in Bogoma, they are not just ministering in Kenya, they are not just ministering in this Africa, but very soon we are hearing some of them are flying. Yes. They are going across the borders, oh God. They are ministering to the people who, are, who brought the gospel to us and right now they have put the gospel down and they are doing their own things. Prepare your people from here. Prepare your servants from, the, from our midst. Prepare both these women from our midst. Prepare this men from our midst from our midst. Raise up these young men, these young women from our midst, that tomorrow we will say, yes, you have done it. It is you, God, that called us with a purpose, and until that purpose is accomplished, Father, we are in your presence to go. We are in your presence to keep going until that you which you wanted us to do, it is done. After it is done, we 